Okay, welcome to video five of our Raspberry Pi uh, robot project. So in this video, we're going to set up the video streaming. Uh, and for this, we're gonna use a JPEG streamer. Um, I selected a project from Miguel Moda. Um, I did a fair amount of research into and tried out many projects uh, for video streaming. This was about, um, I would say 14 months ago. And I kept coming back to this project by Miguel. Um, this is his website up here, as you can see, so miguelmoda.com, and then he has a blog, and uh, you can do the Raspberry Pi camera uh, video streaming. So when you, if you are going to go to this site, I'm basically going to take you through the, uh, the steps that he uses. Only thing to be aware of on his site, um, he did an update in 2014 on the uh, um, steps to do this, and he updated it using... Um, the Ras, uh, Ras uh, Pi Cam, um, uh, so a different different method of doing it. So I would highly recommend that if you are going to use his website, go down to the uh, update 19 of January 2014. But basically, I'm going to take you through the steps that he uses to uh, build this out. So um, let's go back to our Raspberry Pi here. So the first thing we need to do um, is install a couple of libraries. So the first one is the app get as usual install and it's a library jpeg uh, 62 dash turbo dash dev so that's the first library we're going to need this will just take a, a second to install and then we're going to need to install uh, one more here and then we'll use the git command to um, get the streamer from uh, uh, Miguel's uh, git site. So it looks like actually this is going to take a second so I'm just going to pause the video here while this completes. Okay so we've got that installed so the next one we need to install is a, a library called CMake. Installing that and again I'm just going to pause the video while this is installing. Okay so now we have uh, CMake also installed. So you want to make sure that you're in the Pi home directory so just do the CD to ensure that. Now we're going to use the uh, git command to get a copy of uh, Miguel's project. So it's ps forward slash github.com slash Jackson Liam forward slash M dash streamer dot git squiggly forward slash M dash streamer. Okay, so now it's going to clone the um, uh, from the GitHub um, Miguel's uh, package. Okay, there we go. So we've got it. So that's the first step. So now we've got a couple things we're going to need to do with this. So um, first one is um, just do a list here, and you'll see that we now have a new directory here, um, mjpeg streamer. So that's where we downloaded it to. So we're just going to change into that directory. Okay, so we're in there, and then we need to we'll do a listing here, and we need to go into the uh, experimental directory there. Streamer dash Okay, so we'll do a list there, and we see we've got a bunch of files. Okay, so the next we need to execute a command here using the make command clean all. So it's going to go through, do a build of it. This is also going to take a second, so I'll just pause the video again while this runs through. 
Okay, so the uh, make command has now completed, um, and now we're going to make a new, new directory. Uh, I'm going to make it in the OPT, and we're going to name it mjpg-streamer. Uh, it's going to be the video name, just make sure I don't want any spelling mistakes there, so that looks good. Okay, now we're going to move everything here into that directory. Okay, and everything has been moved out there. Okay, so next we want to do a CD to take us back to the Pi home directory. We're going to um, sudo nano a file that I've given you called config.txt, and this is a, a file that we downloaded uh, using our secure FTP in video one. And this has a line in it that we're going to use to copy. So it's gonna be important that you follow this one very, very closely here. So the first thing we're gonna do within this file with that line, um, uh, you can see my cursor is on that line. I want to make sure it's there. We're going to hit the Control K, which is going to copy that. So we've copied it. We're going to do a Control R to open up a new file. Uh, we're, the file we're going to open is etc-rc.local. Before you hit Enter on that, you're going to want to hit the hit and press and release the Escape key and then press and release the F key, and it's gonna bring up a file to insert into new buffer. So what that's gonna do is open up this file um, in, instead of um, uh, combining the file. So very important that you do, don't miss this step. So we're gonna open up the new file. We're gonna to go to the bottom of this. This is the same file that we earlier entered in our GPIO commands. Before the exit zero, again, just add it in there. And now we're going to paste that line in. The way you do a paste is you do a control holding, pressing holding control and then press U. And there we go. So that copied that line in. So this line uh, is very, very long. There's a couple things here that I'll point out to you. First one is on my camera, when I mount the camera, it's actually upside down. So these two, uh, the hyphen VF, and hyphen HF are actually rotating the picture. So if you don't have your Raspberry camera uh, upside down and when you're taking video using this, it's upside down, you can remove those two lines and that'll uh, make it a normal. The other thing to be, uh, just a couple settings here, frames per second is 15. I, gained a, I did some tuning and some of these settings and I found that the uh, frames per second of 15 with quality of 50 and resolution of 640 by 480 uh, was the optimal for um, pretty good, pretty good uh, video, even over a very low grade network connection. Uh, so I did a fair amount of experimenting here. Um, the other thing just I'll point out to you in case you ever want to change this, the port um, of the uh, web server is going to be 9000. So basically what this um, MJPEG uh, streamer is doing, it has its own built-in web server and it's uh, putting these frames into it and what we're going to do we're going to take that stream of frames and bring it into our iframe on our HTML page. Uh, so with that we can now save this file so we'll hit um, control X control X we definitely want to say yes to save we'll want the same file name and then we're back to our config.txt. We're gonna do the same thing, control X. I'm gonna say no to this. And we're back um, into our session here. So um, at this point, what we need to do is, is to do a reboot to load all that up. So I'm just gonna pause the video here while this reboots, and then we're gonna try this out. Okay, so our Pi is back up and running. So now we're going to actually try this. So. We're not going to go to, it won't be showing up on our web page yet because we still have a few more things to do. However, it should be showing up on that port 9000. So if you put in your IP address, 9000, 
hit enter and we and we see uh, the kind of default MJPEG uh, streamer page. So what this is is basically just showing you the built-in web server that uh, is part of the um, uh, Miguel's project. We're not actually going to be using this. We're going to be taking the stream from it uh, to bring it to our web page. But this just shows you the different. Um, so that's a static web page. You can see I've got the camera right now pointing at my plant. Uh, this is um, a stream. This is using Java to stream. I don't have Java on my Mac, so it's not going to work. It has a JavaScript uh, as well. And as you can see here, I'm just putting my hand in front of the video. It's quite responsive. So now we need to go back to our uh, SSH session. We need to get this working within our web page. So to do that, we need to um, cd into the um, backslash var backslash www directory. And remember that we have two HTML, HTML files. So we're going to need to edit both of these. So let's start with the index.html. Okay, so we need to scroll down here a bit to the main section. Uh, in the last video, I'm going to go through this file in much more detail. Uh, but for now, um, we need, just need to modify the iframe to bring the video in. Okay, so this iframe right here, uh, which is in the HTML part of the code. So where it says your IP is where you're going to put your IP address in there. So I'm just going to remove that. And for me, my IP address is 192.168.7.100. So you notice that the port 9000 is already there. If you decide to change your port, you will need to change this port 9000. And as well, you will need to uh, change the port that we had in the rc.local file as well. Okay, so we can save this. We're also going to need to modify the index-mouse file because it basically, as we know, that's very almost identical to the index HTML. It just has the mouse control. And again, this is something I'm going to be going through in the final video, uh, this file in detail. So we're going down to the same spot, the iframe, and we're going to make the same modification here. save that file yes okay so now we're going to go to our web browser we're going to um, go back to our our um, web server not on import 9000 of course just to our regular IP address and as you can see it's uh, already loading the video for the touch control I'm just going to go over to the mouse control and it should be the same thing which it is and again I can put my hand in front of it and the response is very quick, very little delay uh, on it, which is great. Um, some of the projects I, I tried were very variable in the, uh, in the responsiveness of this. So basically now we have our video working. We have, of course, our motors working. We have our light working as well. And so we're, we're, we're almost there. There's one final part left, and that is, of course, this box down here, which is controlling the pen and the tilt and the two servers on that. That's wrapping up video five. Uh, we'll see you in video six.